Hey there, it's me again, Mona. Um, thanks for your comments on my last videos. Um, you see this link here was given to me by a very nice person who was concerned about the public and the, the corruption. Um, I'm, I'm going to read you the, the, the website is www.newsmax.com forward slash politics forward slash GOP campaign forward slash uh, 2012 forward slash 02 for, forward slash 04 forward slash forward slash ID forward slash 428475. And that's what I put in there. Okay, so then you get to read the entire article. Hello. The original article dated Thursday. February 2nd, 2012, at 8.40 p.m. on Thursday, February 2nd, 2012, days before the election. Oh, my God, you guys. I'm going to read this for you word for word. I'm, I'm <clears throat> hoping you can see what I'm reading. Uh, Las Vegas, uh, Republican presidential frontrunner Mitt Romney reached for his second straight victory Saturday in a quiet Nevada caucuses, a contest at Newt Gingrich, and the rest of his rivals conceded in advance. Conceded in advance. Oh, that's a new, I like that. Uh, unlike contentious earlier events from Iowa to Florida, this one featured little television advertising, no debates, and a small investment of time by Romney and Gingrich, former Senator Rick Santorum, and Texas Republican Ron Paul. A total of 28 Republican National Convention delegates was at stake in caucuses held across a sprawling state that drew little attention in the nominating campaign, but figures to be a fierce battleground in the fall between the winner of the GOP nomination and President Barack Obama. The state's unemployment rate was measured at 12.6% in December, the worst in the country. Here we go. Uh, according to the AP count, Romney began the day with 87 of, the, of 1,144 delegates needed to win the Republican nomination. Gingrich had 26, Santorum 14, and Paul 4, which is bullcrap. We know Paul had, had 10 to start with. Uh, the caucus rules were a demonstration of democracy and a reflection of religious diversity. Nevada awarded its delegates in proportion to the caucus vote totals, meaning that any candidate who captured at least 3.57 of the total number of ballots cast would be rewarded. By contrast, Romney's victory in the Florida primary on Tuesday netted him all 50 of the delegates at stake here. While most caucuses were held during the day, an exception was made in Clark County. I want to make sure you see this. Uh, Clark County, the state's largest, is 60%. There, party officials arranged to hold one meeting well after sundown at, a, at the request of Orthodox Jews who observed, who observed bans on driving, riding, or other workaday uh, activities during the Sabbath. Uh, Romney's victory in the state's 2008 caucuses, coupled with the heavy presence of voters who share his Mormon faith, turned Nevada into something of a way station on the campaign calendar. There are just over uh, 175,000 Mormons in the state, roughly 7% of the population. But they counted for nearly a quarter of all 2008 Nevada GOP primary grower, goers. Gingrich said he'd be happy to finish second behind Romney and ahead of Paul, who was one of two candidates to air television ads in the state. Romney was the other, joined by Restore Our Faith, the ubiquitous organization that supports him and has been heavily involved in earlier states. Santorum campaigned relatively little in Nevada, though he picked up the support of Sharon Engel, a Tea Party favorite who won the GOP Senate nomination in 2010 upset and then lost her race to Senator Majority Leader Harry Reid. From Nevada, the calendar turns to caucuses in Minnesota and Colorado and non-binding primary in Missouri on Tuesday. Main caucuses end next Saturday. Nevada caucuses coming four days after the floor primary meant little time for the type of intense campaign that characterized the first month of the race. The most memorable event of the four-day Nevada campaign, other than this fraud, was an endorsement that flamboyant billionaire Donald Trump bestowed on Romney in Las Vegas in a circus-like atmosphere that followed reports he would back Gingrich. The campaign event was brief, and Paul mocked the Donald in his decision. I don't think that he has much credibility. I don't understand why we pay any attention to him, he said. Copyright 2011, Associated Press, All Rights Reserves. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, oh, cannot be published, broad, reprocast, rewritten, or redistributed. Okay. Look at this. A total? Mm, we're at stake. And the, Wow, how did they... It's just... I want that freaking time machine, too. Look at the truth, people. This is really, really deeply more corrupt, as scary as can be. People are sending me stuff now. It's just, it's awesome. I mean, this is, look at this crap. Thursday, the 2nd of February. 
Look what day it is today. February 5th, 10.03 p.m. Las Vegas time after the caucus. Look at this. Nevada awarded its delegates. Jeez. So, by the way, Super Tuesday is coming up March 6th, guys. Hey, who won there? I'm sure you know. I'm sure everybody already knows. It was Romney, right? Romney and then Gingrich. Uh, what, does Ron Paul finish last there? I bet Ron Paul's last in Texas, too, right? Unbelievable. The crowds were roaring for him here in Nevada. I don't know where these people... Well, obviously, I guess their time machine must be broken because they have inaccurate information as far as who really won. Come on, people. Look at this crap. Talk about pulling the wool over your eyes, sheeple. For shame. For shame not calling him out on it. 